All right, first thing you want to do, 13 millimeter socket. You want to undo this clamp right here. You see it right there, boom. And the best part, I looked online, if you drop the spare, you can take this all out in one piece. So I'm gonna see how well that works for me. And for reference, I have the climber exhaust, the Borla Attack climber. So here is where the stock exhaust sits. And once I put it all together, you'll see where the uh, attack sits. So yeah. All right, next thing you'll see I did to make this a little easier for me. Took out the heat shield that went around the wheel. So there was a total of two 10 millimeter nuts, three 10 millimeter bolts, and they all screwed in, boom, boom. And then on the back side of this, it was two bolts right here, or two, yeah, two bolts right here, nuts right here, ha, huh, giggity and the bolt over here. Moving on. Oh, I also unscrewed the clamps, make it easier, and this is the last one for me to do, and then I'll be able to drop this exhaust out. Let's go. The last one undone, that was just up here. The whole exhaust is flimsy. Get it out. All right, it can be done. So there it is. In all of its glory in one piece. If I play a little game of turning it and turning it so it doesn't catch, but it will come out in one piece. As much as I want to turn this thing on and let y'all hear how it sounds without the exhaust, you know, I'm on base at a craft center, so I'm just kind of obnoxious. Obnoxious. So, yeah, that's the old exhaust. And the new one, getting ready to go on. So, interesting story, Borla, in all their glory, I think they sent me an extra tube. Because right here, I have the muffler on, the, yeah, I got all that on. But then this bad boy right here. Keep in mind, I ordered the climber. So, this tube, it sits flush with that. It's not supposed to sit flush. It's supposed to go around it for me to tie the clamp. And more icing on the cake. For the climber is not supposed to come all the way back here. It's supposed to stop up here. So I have this piece right here, which slides right in place yeah <laughs> I got extra too <laughs> hey thanks Borla I uh, appreciate it I guess scrap metal all right y'all it's almost done so there you have it I angled it a little bit because I didn't want the fumes to come right down onto the bar but other than that it stops right behind the tire and it's up and out of the way so once I put the heat shield on, uh, it should be, actually I don't even know if I'm going to put it back on. Yeah, I'm going to put it on. I am. But this bracket right here, which held up the final piece, the unnecessary Borla tubing, it's right there. I don't need it no more. So it's all said and done. It's a lot shorter and I can't wait to fire it up to see what it sounds like. Alright, get the heat shield back up. And there is the exhaust. So yeah. And here comes moment of truth. I'm gonna fire it up. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs>
happy y'all so sitting at idle this is you can hear the ambient noise it's it's amazing there's nothing if I rev it from inside That sounds good. Hold on, let me put this outside. Here we go. I don't know the format just happened, but yes, it sounds so good. <laughs> yes, sir.